All right, what's good? So today we're going to uh, learn how to make our own brushes, brushes you could draw or take from templates online. This way you'll never have to ever buy a new brush or download brush packs ever again. So first thing, we're gonna have to jump into Photoshop. And now, right now we have a pretty blank screen right now. And you start off with this default background layer, which is usually locked. So I'm gonna unlock that real quick and then open up a new layer. Now this is gonna be a pretty quick tutorial. It's pretty easy to do too. So first thing you wanna do is you wanna hide that um, white layer and you wanna see a transparent layer. In order for you to be able to make good brushes, they have to be transparent. So right now, I'm just gonna maybe take just a regular um, paintbrush tool, make it a little smaller. And I'm going to change my color to black. It's very important that your colors are black and in grayscale when making your own brushes because that way they can be used for any other colors for when you want to use them in the future. And I'm just going to make it a little smaller and maybe I'll draw something like this. Right? So maybe it's like a, a dragon wing or something. Right? Don't know when you'll ever need to use this, but it's there when you need it. And I made a little mistake here. We could just make sure whenever you make uh, make your brushes, they don't touch the edges, right? The edges are very important because when you draw them in a line, you don't want that harsh edge to be there. And when they're centered in the middle, you can kind of control where they are. So I'm going to select this command or control T to pull up the transform tool. And I'm going to place this right about in the middle using the uh, guides. So that's, we've created the outline of our brush or the shape of our brush but how exactly do we make it into the brush so first thing we're going to do is we're going to go hit edit at the top of the uh, toolbar and we're going to go down to define brush preset right here so we're going to say that and i'll call this dragon wing oh hit okay and now as you see when i'm on the brush tool um i can go down all the way here and hit my dragon wing preset. So if I create a new file, let's just say I create a 2000 by 2000 pixel file and I select the color red, I can start painting my dragon wing anywhere I want it to be. Right? So that's how you would create your own brush from your own drawing. But another thing I like to do is I like to take stuff from online and make them into my own brushes. So for example, here, we have a picture of Mickey Mouse. Now, maybe you want a Mickey Mouse brush. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to uh, hide that background layer. And you can see it's a picture of Mickey Mouse in a white background. Like I said before, it's very important for your shape to be on a transparent background. Because right now, your brush would look like a square instead of the shape of Mickey Mouse. So what we're going to do, we're going to go up to Select in the toolbar. We're going to hit Select and color uh, select Color Range right there. Now what color range will do is you select on any color you want and it'll select all of the color inside that image. So just drag your slider until you feel pretty confident that you've grabbed all of the white in this image. Hit OK. We're going to delete all the white and hit Command Control D to get rid of the selection. So as you can see now, Mickey Mouse, we only have the colors that kind of define his shape, right? We don't have any whites and it's all transparent, which is perfect. But in order for a good brush to be a good brush, like I said before, we need it to be in the grayscale. So if you hit Command or Control Shift U, it turns your image into black and white. So now you have a black and white picture of Mickey Mouse. So if I go to Edit and Define Brush Preset again, and I say Mickey Mouse and call it my preset, now I have a Mickey Mouse brush preset. So if I go out here and... Uh, delete this previous layer we made and maybe I want my Mickey Mouse to be blue. Now I have a brush that creates images of Mickey Mouse and I don't know why you'll ever need this like I said before but you could do this with pretty much anything. You could take pictures of clouds online, make them grayscale and then um, extract the cloud from the uh, image itself and create your own cloud brushes like I have. Uh, there's a lot of different ways you can use this and it's really up to you what you want to do with it All right guys. Well, that was a pretty easy tutorial. I suggest you go on Photoshop try it out There's a lot of ways you could use it 
And uh, make sure you follow your boy on Instagram at arun.psd. And I will be posting a lot more tutorials on how my photo editing process works, how I edit, how I sort, how I do all that. So make sure you go check that stuff out. And yeah, see you next time.